from 2012. 2019 Corley, we're going to connect this lovely little arm to the Raspberry Pi Zero W. going to have a pie that's going to be set up with a uh, Raspbian. It's an inexpensive Raspberry Pi. It's only £8. It has Wi-Fi on board and I think it's the perfect tool for it. We can either use SSH. Uh, if you want to get fancy one day you can go and create a Flask web server. My book shows you how. So then you can go and drive it remotely. We're not going to need to modify the robot arm at all. Um, there's another follow-up video where I show a few things I had to fix because it was ever so slightly broken. Let's just go through what we've done with Raspbian. It's the same loadout that I recommend in my book. The current Raspbian flashed with Etcher, the SSH file, so then it can be gotten to remotely with SSH, and a WPA supplicant.com file to get to my Wi-Fi. So that means it's headless. I can plug it in, start it up, and SSH in. This is a brand new Pi Zero W. It's never been used. I'll just plug that in. We're also going to need an adapter, so this just gives us a USB adapter. Now I've got to make sure I get the right one, USB and not power. And there it is. And I've used the dinky one, so hopefully it won't interfere with having power connector. And I am joined by my lovely assistant. Hello. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to plug in the Raspberry Pi. And that goes into this, no, this hole here. The one's got PWR next to it. Here. That one there, yep. Yeah. Go. Good. And if we wait for the green light to stop blinking, and if you try and ping Raspberry Pi, so ping dot local, press enter, and we can ping it, which means it's alive. Okay, if you Yay. press control and C, and now if you do SSH space pi at the Raspberry Pi dot local again. No, it won't autocorrect that, I'm afraid. Raspberry Pi dot local. Press enter. Right, and click yes. I should probably... Click it or no, what? type it, sorry. The password for a standard Raspberry Pi is Raspberry. Raspberry. There we go. Right, we're now into the Raspberry Pi. Right, now, this curl command tells it to go and get this content and this would actually set everything up. What comes out of this curl command, yeah, to go into another command to actually run it. A pipe, yeah, space, and I want to do you to type sudo space bash. And what that's going to do is that's going to run this command as a super user. And now what we wait. It? Yes, this bit takes ages. Daddy, why does it take so long? Okay, so this is actually going and downloading a bunch of Raspbian packages. So I took Raspbian Lite, which is an image with not a lot, and we're getting uh, Python 3, Python 3 pip, uh, which is the way we install packages. We're getting Git, which allows us to grab stuff from GitHub. And we're also going and getting the Python 3 libusb dependencies. This is when we see if we can drive the thing. It's USB cable. Needs to go in this little USB shim here. That way. Ooh. Turn the arm on. I Python know. 3. Do import USB underscore arm. Press enter. The arm equals USB underscore arm dot and then big A RM and then brackets press enter and if there's no errors we're hooked up if you say arm dot move open bracket usb underscore arm dot it's capital s yeah shoulder capital d down close the bracket press enter okay so what you've got is you've got base clockwise base counterclockwise shoulder elbow up and down wrist up and down and we can do grips open grips closed and we can do led on oh. which will stay on for a second so if you do arm dot move 
the USB arm dot. Choose which thing you're going to make it do. Grip. Grips open, capital G and capital O. No. Grips. Grips. Yeah. Oh, grips closed. Yes, because they're already open. Press enter. Three, two, one. Da! Okay, now, shoulder up and elbow down at the same time. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now change that shoulder down to shoulder up, but don't press enter just yet. Now we want to go and change another thing at the same time. So use the pipe character, which is shift and that thing above. Oh, you pressed enter. Whoops. And then do USB arm, elbow down. Did you hear them both move together? Yeah. So that pipe awes them together so they all move. So look, we can do shoulder down, and elbow down, elbow down, but then I will do wrist up. Are you, uh, are you watching, Helena? Press the drill. Three, two, one. Three of the motors went at once. Right, but that's not the only thing you can do. See, we can actually create actions where you can create an animation by joining a bunch of movements together. So it can do a whole chain of things. But can I get one of my Jubilee bricks so then it can... <laughs> right, we'll build to that. That might take a bit of practice. It took me... So that little snippet of video you see at the beginning was a perfect shot with at least an hour of practice getting all the timing right to get it in place. This arm does not have any sensors. The only cameras here are the ones that I'm filming with. So there's no camera, so it does not know where the block is. So you have to perfectly time it and you have to take into account that this thing's got lots of backlash. I'll show you. If I can do this, yeah, that is how much when you move one way and back the other, it changes. Um, do action, do, I know, not Pepe. I will probably change it to do underscore actions later. Bracket, in there, do USB arm, and we've got a canned action in there. So if you do block left. Right, and this should do something slightly exciting. Okay, hit enter and watch it. Oh, it's got to be block underscore left. <laughs> oh, well you didn't tell me. Oh, sorry. Okay, ready? Set, go. Oh, oh. So the problem I've got is the... Oh, I think we have to stop it. <laughs> it went too far. That's pretty bad because it's tightened these up. So I'm going to do arm.move USB arm.base counter clockwise. We'll do that until we get that back because that was a bit too far. Hopefully we've not pulled any of these clear of their thing. That's as far as I'm comfortable taking it. Make your own actions. Actions equal. And in here, shoulder down, wrist down together. So you're creating a list and storing it into actions. Hmm. I'm going a little bit off course. <laughs> if you close a square bracket there at the end of that, comma, another list, square bracket, so well, we've got two over there. I know, we just need one here. Because we're still in the list that first of those two opened. Grips open. And then close two square brackets. So we close one list, close the other. Press enter. Oh, wrist down. Yeah, you can't click there. You have to use the uh, keyboard. Helena's getting used to working on the command line. Um, <laughs> and, and you can put, obviously you can write code that wraps the USB R module. You know, you don't have to do it in command line. It's just while we're playing with it. Um, you can see clearly it works on the Pi. Oop, if I don't destroy it with my hands. <laughs> Arm dot. And you'll see all of this come together now. So do big A actions. Brackets. Actions. I've created a list of actions. It's going to do them all in sequence. Oh, it's a variable. Can I rename it? You can. Run it first yeah. and then we can rename one. Okay. Which holds a list with another list. And go control and A go to the beginning of a line. You're going to call it something else, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. I'm still not used to this. I'm going to do shoulder up, then wrist down, elbow down. Can you do a like, middle? 
And if you only move down a little bit, it's different from moving down for a second. So you can move down okay. for half a second. So do a comma inside that list, 0 0.5. And that will give it half a second. So it'll then move halfway. Okay. And for the grips, we're going to have to change them to close because they're already open. 0 0.5. That works beautifully. Still. We have now demonstrated that this works with a Raspberry Pi. I will put all of the demo code we've run here online and you'll be able to run that setup on your own Raspberry Pi. If you're interested in building robots and doing stuff with Raspberry Pi, I'd like to suggest that you take a look at my book, Learn Robotics Programming. So made by my my daddy so proud of him and this is all about building the floor robot with raspberry pi it'll have sensors it does stuff with cameras also able to track lines yeah and like track the colors it can avoid walls it's got some leds with sensors which distant sensors which like have supersonic thingy majig ultrasonic, <laughs> ultrasonic. and it's got multicolor leds and you get a web page that runs on the robot you can drive it and launch actions from your phone so that's learn robotics programming on pax publishing and if you look in the video description there are links on how to build buy this book and it's probably one of the best ways to support my making is to buy my robotics book at least my first one that's why he was so busy earlier okay and if you want to see more videos subscribe but for now go make stuff and be awesome bye hi Oh no, sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shift and two, like an email address. Pi, no, no, pi, pi, that is at. <laughs> okay, uh, so if you delete the A and the T.